Hi there. It's Professor Monty. Let's look at a radioactive or exponential decay application or word problem. A seed was found in an archaeological dig site. The seed only had 75% of its carbon-14 remaining. How old is the seed? Now, we know it will be given carbon-14 as a half-life of 5,750 years. We're going to use the general or generic exponential growth and decay formula, which is something along the lines, and your author or your teacher may use different letters, but it's a of t, the amount of time t, is a sub zero, the amount you start with, times e to the kt, they may use r times t. k is the constant of growth, the k in this case, and t is time. Okay, so we have all that. We know certain things. Well, I need to find out what this growth rate is. I've got another video you may want to look at. I'll link it to the end of this one that talks about half-life and how to find the growth rate. And the growth rate is ln of a half, half-life, divided by t, where t is the time to half-life. So in this case, we're just going to say, oh, it's ln of a half, divided by time, 5,750 years. And then let's plug that into the calculator, see what we get. So I get ln of 1 divided by 2, or just ln of 0.5, close parentheses, divided by 5750. Now, in my calculator, it looks like this. It says negative 1.20547. There's some other numbers. Then it goes E negative 4, which means it put it in scientific notation, meaning I need to move the decimal four places to the left. So it's really moved one place and then three more. It's negative 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 5, 4, 7 stuff. And I'm not going to clear this out of my calculator. Remember, I'm going to leave that in there because I'm going to use that because that's what my growth or my decay constant is. And I don't want to round until the final answer. So don't round that. I'm going to put this in as a rounded number, but it's not a rounded number. Okay. So here's what I do. It says the seed was found. It had 75% of its original carbon-14. So if, if I started with a sub zero, and I don't know how much that is, but I have 75% of this left. So I go, oh, 75% of whatever a sub zero was, that's what's left. And then e to the k, negative 0.00012547, and there's more stuff there I just left out, times t, I'm trying to solve that for t. So I divide both sides by a sub zero, and notice that goes away. It didn't matter what a sub zero started with. So now I just have 0.75, equals e to the negative 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 5, 4, 7, t. And then remember, to solve that, I just take the ln of both sides. ln is the inverse of e to the power, so they cancel out. I just get that stuff, so I get ln of 0. 0.75 equals negative 0. 0.00012057t. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and I divide by all that stuff. Negative point zero 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 one two zero five four seven both sides. T equals. Now since I've carried that decimal so far, I'm just going to use that decimal. We'll use what I have in here to see if there's a difference. If I go ln point seven five close parentheses divided by my answer, so now I haven't rounded at all. I get about, rounded to the nearest year, 2,386 years. Now, if I use this rounded number, let's see if I, because I didn't round off much, I went quite a few decimals, ln.75, close parentheses, divided by negative 0.00012547, Two thousand three hundred eighty-six point four seven years. So I carried it to enough decimals. So if you don't know how to use the answer to your calculator, you can do it that way. But that's the idea. Again, I'll link this video to the end of this one. But that's how you do radioactive decay problems. You just take a little practice. But as you know, the more you practice, the better you're going to get, and the more likely you are to get a perfect grade.
on your upcoming.